Uh, greetings, Libra, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all doing well, and uh, let's dive right in and see what we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate each one of you. And uh, this is what I have for you today on the table. We start off with the magician. Well, you're making magic and you're well suited for whatever this business or this creative project you're working on. And you're going to use all your concentration and creative abilities right now, uh, Libra, uh, to jump into this new energy and use everything on the table to manifest. And let's see what it is that you're into uh, manifesting with this personal power right now, where you're manifesting something from the past, that happiness. Uh, you're manifesting the magic around childhood, the past, something that uh, was very pleasant and happy. That's what you're uh, focusing on. That's what you're trying to uh, bring into reality, um, those good times. Uh, and someone from the past might be coming back, and that's going to help you uh, be determined to bring things down, to use both your higher belief, but also all the skills you have uh, to come into the sense of fulfillment and uh, nostalgia maybe for the past, uh, for the magic, for everything that was created. Uh, and you're going to um, see what is coming in from the past. And it's coming because you're evaluating it. You're appraising what you've worked on with the magician. And you're seeing that coin between your legs. You're ready to take that out there. Uh, <clears throat> move on from the past to make magic in a new way. Uh, to use your personal power uh, to really have this um, next level of creation. And it's coming because it's been a, a heavy burden uh, something from your past experience you've been carrying maybe extra load right now while you are appraising what you've worked on. And maybe you're appraising, do I want to keep working this hard? Uh, I want maybe some more of those feelings like I had in childhood where I didn't have so many responsibilities. Um, and uh, But you're going to be comforted in this time of trouble if you have been burdened, maybe having some back pain, or you know this responsibility has been a difficult one for you, but you've managed. You're almost there to the finish line. Uh, so it's time for you to make some changes in your life, and you have all of the magic around you and that manifestation skills and personal power uh, to get to the end of this and to um, look for new and creative solutions to uh, what it is you're trying to create. Um, and you're going to evaluate whatever was going on in the past and see if you want to keep working here or not or move on uh, from situation uh, or past uh, energies. And it's coming quickly while well, you're moving away from that quickly with a lot of communication towards something new that you're very fired up about um, at this time, Libra. And you want to use your personal power uh, to keep going, uh, to take charge, to maybe you felt like you've been over committing yourself. You have too many things on your plate. You're trying to juggle uh, too much and you're just wanting to retreat back into the past where things maybe weren't so hard and where things um, you're looking over uh, what had been grown in the past and you're saying uh, it's a cross you're at a major crossroads now and you're getting a lot of communication about uh, potentials here but it's a good time now to clarify your goals and to see if you do want to keep uh, working in the same way or move on but there is important news and information that is coming in. And you're going to look for that uh, because it's coming in with uh, this uh, invitation, a proposal. Uh, something uh, about love is coming in for you now, quickly. Information about uh, someone who's very loving, uh, who thinks very carefully about their feelings. And you could be communicating your feelings uh, quickly. 
Um, and it's important that you plan on how this comes in. You could be the one who is the uh, beloved, offering this love, offering this gesture of, um, you know, just something that you're bringing in or someone's bringing in to you, but it's coming from uh, the environment. And this is uh, Gemini uh, energy in Virgo could be important in your uh, time around you right now. And you've got a lot of water here. And, <clears throat> um, but there's something about the past, maybe someone from your past is coming in uh, that is going to offer you some emotional relief. Uh, someone's coming in um, that is very sensitive to others, well-educated, um, that is going to be able to uh, be very persuasive uh, with you and communicate really clearly with you about this feeling. And it's coming because of the Knight of Pentacles. Well, another night, you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, and both of these knights are um, on a mission, one toward love and one toward making this real, grounding this love and um, working at it, slow and steady. And neither of these knights come in with a, a speed, but they come in with momentum. And it's towards something that you're really trying to uh, determine your willpower, your personality to uh, take those um, offerings and bring them down to reality, uh, Libra. And what's coming that you're trying to create with this uh, magician is uh, the world where you're making magic to try to close out this completion in this very uh, confident way. So you can create this whole new reality, a new beginning. And it's coming because of this sense of um, whatever you have given in terms of this magic, this manifestation, is coming back to you in full force with so much abundance and celebration and happiness um, about this event, whatever you created. Um, and it's coming with uh, a sense of um, travel, uh, change, change of residence, uh, and that what's this world and magician about? Well, the magician in, is about temperance and the king of swords. Well, whatever it is you're closing out that you've created, that you've used a lot of personal power, well, you're getting some truth and clarity about what it is that you need to um, be adaptable and change. You're seeing this clearly that um, there is a need for healing and uh, a synthesizing of energies, of possibilities within you, of aspects of yourself. Uh, and you are reconciling uh, maybe with uh, the truth. Maybe you're having to have emotional balance about this uh, ending, this completion. And both you're both very uh, celebrating it, but also feeling uh, that there is truth that's coming in that you need to uh, have a balanced approach, a moderate approach to. And uh, that is what I have. And this temperance in the uh, King of Swords wants you to know that uh, there is a lot of wealth and abundance as you see the truth, as you get uh, this professional uh, energy of the King of Swords who looks straight forward at you and does not shy from the truth. This is a lawyer, an engineer. And then also you have this business uh, energy of someone who is a good problem solver of the earth, uh, can bring things down, can invest, can work hard, has a good career, is very good with all of the trappings of wealth around you. And you've also got uh, this sense of um, truth, clarity, high moral standards. You could be dealing with this masculine energy of the sword and the earth and having to balance out maybe uh, your emotions about these two energies at this time. And you're closing out this old phase of life. And whatever it is, it's going to be a time of uh, happiness, a positivity. And you've gone through a lot. Things have been taking a long time. 
to get to this position. But this new uh, love offer is coming in, is gonna be considerate and generous and uh, have a lot of deep feelings for you, as well as to bring something down and make it practical and of the world and work. Uh, and it's coming in quickly. Whatever this is you're m manifesting is coming in with speed, communication, a lot of good news. And uh, that is because you're letting go of anything that has been overwork of, uh, in your investment, over-investing, overworking. Um, and that is coming because you're going to move into more of a phase of this childhood uh, innocence and have a good time and feel that you have this emotional relief about whatever it is you have been going through at the time. It's going to, uh, as you come into this reading, uh, Libra, you're going to feel more of a childhood innocence, more artistic to start working more on remembering the good times. And that is going to bring you a lot of quick um, creativity and manifestation. And it's going to be um, real and loving and generous and um, uh, tender to you. And that's what I have for you, a Libra. I hope this resonates. And thank you again for all your support. And uh, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And sending you love. Bye-bye. <laughs>